known as the forest giraffe, the okapi looks more like a cross between a deer and a zebra. Nevertheless, it's the giraffe's only living relative. The okapi is native to the Itari rainforest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the only place where it can be found in the wild, and has thick, oily fur to stay dry in the rain. It also has scent glands on the bottom of its hooves that help mark its territory. Except for the tips, the okapi's short horns are covered in skin. While all males have horns, most females have knobby bumps instead. Habitat and diet The okapi lives among dense flora in the rainforest. It can blend into its surroundings thanks to the brown and white stripes on its rump, which mimic the appearance of streaks of sunlight coming through the trees. Its plant-based diet consists of fruits, buds, leaves, twigs, and other vegetation. Just like the giraffe and cow, the okapi has four stomachs that aid with digesting tough plants. Also like its giraffe cousin, the okapi has a long, dark tongue that can strip leaves from branches. An okapi consumes between 45 and 60 pounds of food each day, including riverbed clay for minerals and salt. It will occasionally eat bat excrement for nutrients. Active during the day, the elusive okapi prefers to be alone. Its hooves secrete sticky territorial markings, while males also spray their territory with urine. Sometimes, however, okapis will congregate in small groups to eat, groom, and even play. Female okapis typically have only one calf per pregnancy. An okapi calf is able to walk just 30 minutes after it's born but can't defecate until it's at least a month old, that way, the smell of feces won't attract predators. While adult okapis don't vocalize much, except when they're ready to breed, calves will bleat, cough, and whistle when their mother is away. Okapi mothers communicate with their calves by making infrasounds, which are noises that are undetectable to the human ear. Female okapis are very protective of their young and will beat the ground with their hooves to ward off potential threats. However, upon reaching six months of age, a calf must fend for itself. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature's UCN, Red List of Threatened Species, the okapi is endangered. While it's not clear how many remain in the wild, scientists estimate that populations may have been slashed in half over the past two decades. Though the leopard is the okapi's chief predator in the wild, human hunters pose a greater threat to the okapi's existence. In 2012, a militia group killed 14 okapis at a conservation center located at the headquarters of the okapi conservation project. Today, poachers continue to kill okapis for their meat and skin, and civil unrest in the Democratic Republic of Congo makes enforcement of wildlife protection laws increasingly difficult. Human-induced deforestation also leads to fragmentation and destruction of crucial okapi habitats. Founded in 1987, the Okapi Conservation Project still exists, despite the brutal attack on its headquarters in 2012. It supports the Okapi Wildlife Reserve, a World Heritage Site in the Itairu Forest, home to 5,000 Okapis. The Okapi Conservation Project works with the Institute in Congo for the Conservation of Nature to provide resources to rangers who patrol the reserve and other Okapi-occupied areas. The rangers' duties include detaining armed poachers before they can kill okapis and monitoring agricultural expansion that could harm okapi habitats. UCN has also teamed up with other organizations, including the Zoological Society of London, to implement a decade-long strategy to reduce illegal activity that could drive the okapi to extinction. Where I live wild okapi live exclusively in the Itari rainforest in northwest Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. The Maryland Zoo has one male okapi on exhibit in the African journey near the giraffes. How I live the okapi are solitary, animals that live in habitat not easily penetrated. Plants grow so big and so close together in the Itri rainforest that little sunlight makes its way to the forest floor. Okapi are well adapted to their dense, dark surroundings. Their distinctly large ears help them to sense hidden predators. Their dark bodies blend into the shadows and their striped hindquarters break up any outline, making it difficult for predators to spot them. Okapi are active during the day, in other words, diurnal. They spend their waking hours foraging for food. They feed on leaves, fruits, grasses and some species of fungi. 
They also beat reddish clay that provides essential salt and minerals. Okapi are not social animals. They do not seek companionship, although they may feed together in small groups for a short period of time. They prefer to live alone in large, secluded areas, which is becoming increasingly difficult for them as their rainforest habitat shrinks. Making my mark the okapi is similar in many ways to its towering cousin, the giraffe. Both have cloven hooves and short, skin-covered horns. Both have long necks, although, yes, the giraffe wins the longest neck contest. Their skulls are virtually identical except that the okapis is smaller. Most impressively, both have super long, prehensile, flexible, bluish tongues that are excellent leaf pluckers. So here's an unusual distinction, the okapi, thanks to its extra long tongue, is one of the only mammals in the world that can lick its own ears. Both male and female okapi travel within home ranges that may overlap. They live, alone or in mother offspring pairs. Okapi mark their territory by spraying urine, secreting a black tar-like substance from scent glands on each foot, and rubbing their necks on trees. Males will defend their territories from other males but will allow females to pass through. To show dominance, one okapi will raise its head above the other. To show submission, an okapi will lay its head and neck on the ground. When male rivals clash, they kick and bash each other with their large heads. Okapi are certainly known to each other and to the predators that hunt them, but they remain relatively mysterious to the scientific community. Because they are reclusive animals that live in habitat not easily explored, scientists have not studied them intensively. Okapi were first brought to the world's attention in 1901 after local people revealed their existence to European explorers in Africa. For many years prior, their existence had been hinted at but never confirmed. What eats me the leopard is the okapi's most fearsome predator. Other rainforest cats, including servals and golden cats, also prey on okapi. Humans also hunt okapi, today, illegally, as okapi are protected in the DRC. This is how European explorers first became aware of okapi. Pygmy hunters described the strange, zebra-like animal that they sometimes trapped in forest pits. Raising young male and female okapi come together briefly to mate, then go their separate ways. Females retreat deep into the forest to give birth. A mother okapi usually gives birth to a single offspring at a time. For the first two months of life, that offspring will remain hidden in a nest of foliage. The mother will return often to allow it to nurse. She will win her offspring at about six months of age. Okapi reach full size at about age 